What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Parasite Eve. I'm What the Fnew, and we're walking in anything but a winter wonderland. In the last episode, we were one area to the lo <laughs> area. We were one area away from where we were right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna go left to prove it, mostly because I might re-trigger the battle that happens in this area right around the line I'm walking on. Uh, there's a payphone right here if you need to use it to save your game, which you might want to do because one screen to the right, we're going to be facing one of the most annoying bosses in this entire game. And it's not even for the reasons that bosses typically are really hard in most RPGs early on. You know, not just not because you don't have all this crazy equipment and all these grand abilities yet. It's because this is where the fixed 3D perspective really starts to get fucked. Okay, see these worm things here? Eventually they'll start spinning out like these needles at you. The, now the problem with dealing with those needles is that, look at this, where exactly am I supposed to stand to avoid them? It's really hard to tell with the perspective you've got. It's agitating to try and figure out where you are in 3D space in relation to them and where you need to stand to avoid getting hit. Especially when they pull crap like that and you can't do avoid them entirely anyway. Oh boy, I must have played this game like a hundred times when I was a kid, and I still have trouble with this crap. Uh, you don't want to do what I did just there. You don't want to nail him as soon as he comes out of the ground, because of course he'll try to bite you. You want to keep your distance, but at the same time you kind of don't. Because you're gonna get hit, or you're going to... You're either going to get hit by the needles, and you have a slight chance to dodge, or you decide you want to deal with the... You decide you want to deal with the bite, and just take damage pretty much automatically. There's almost nothing you can do to avoid it. Look at that. Oh my god, are these worms getting bigger? Yes, they are. Every time you kill one of these things, the other ones get bigger. And let me tell you, the last one gets insanely huge! God damn it. God damn it! Avoid. Come on. Oh, and they and they p drop out of your range, too, so you don't even get all your shots off. Now, if you get lucky like I did just there, you might be able to sneak in an extra attack. You might be able to, like, sneak behind the projectile. That's probably your best bet at getting out of the way of that thing. Oh, jeez. Ah, crap, I put myself in a bad position. And look, the needles get faster, too. So you have even less and less of a chance to avoid them. At least you have that tiny little safe area there. And now things are about to get crazy. Watch how quick this guy gets. Watch how big this guy gets. I'm sorry. Using the wrong adjective here. Come on, where are you? Holy crow! Look at that dude. And then he does that, like, sweeping attack right there, which is almost impossible to dodge. You have to know it's coming. Ugh, I'm getting low here. I probably need to use some medicine. 90 HP, that's a lot. That's why I carry at least one or two with me. Yeah, I know I'm taking a shit ton of damage here. No! Ah, come on! You can avoid that. It is possible. You have to know how to do it, though. I should be standing off to the side here, waiting for him. Because then he's going to aim the attack right there, and then I can just keep running. That's how you're supposed to do it. Right, I remember now. And then just keep pumping bullets in him. Now, if I'm lucky and he keeps using this strategy, I might be able to survive this battle with minimal injuries past what I've already taken. Yep, that's it. Ta-da! And we've leveled up. Watch me get haste right after the battle where I needed it the most. No, but I did get barrier. That's another interesting ability. As long as you have PE left in your gauge, you'll be able to keep absorbing damage. You'll be invincible for that time, but it drains PE insanely quickly. Ins wow, my voice really cracked. Made that word sound a lot more awesome than I intended it to be. Insanely quickly! All right, we got, we got a whole inventory full of defense plus ones here. May as well use them. You get a defense plus one, and you get a defense plus one. Everybody gets a defense plus one. 
or just this one vest, because that's what I'm using right now. I don't want to waste my tools on transferring stats over to that. Alrighty then. That's one boss battle down, but as I said in the previous episode, there are two here. And this is actually one of the most iconic battles in this entire game. I love the setup for this. Your genes are stronger than I thought. Come, my dear. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> Remember, kids, if some crazy-looking lady offers you... Uh, offers that you go for a ride with her on a horse-drawn carriage in the middle of the night in a park, it's totally safe. Well, I've got a gun. I can take care of myself. Oh, dear! Well, didn't see that one coming, did you? She's looking down at you like, yeah, I did that. She just has that snarky little look on her face like she wants to make a horrible pun. Is it hot in here, or is it just me? Why? Why be on... Oh, that's Eve. Why? Why be on the human side? Why not? I'm a human. Why are you going with them, and not me? What, you jelly? You're totally jelly right now. What? Alright, yes. Look at how little of space we have to move around in. This is our battlefield, guys. And of course, if you have a rifle equipped, you can hit her from absolutely anywhere. Now watch that crap. She'll, like, bombard the carriage with blasts. The best way to avoid that, though, is just to go to the opposite corner of where she, of where the blast is coming down, like where I'm standing right now. If it's down here, you want to move up here, and if it's down there, you want to move up to the other corner. This is actually one of the easier fights, even though it's super cool to look at. Whoa! Holy cow. It's getting tricksy. And there we go. It's already done. Come to think of it, I didn't even spend the bonus points I got in the last battle, did I? Ah, well, we'll take care of that in a bit. It seems you still don't know who I am. Well, if you don't know, your mitochondria will. Oh, sure, let me just call them up and ask. Hey, buddies, do you know who this woman is? No, nope. should no, we know doesn't her? ring Nine. a bell. You kidding? I'd remember a face that ugly. Alright, thanks for the help. What are you talking about? Here, let me explain directly. Stop it! If we join forces, all the other mitochondria in the world will s stop! Well, I hope you bought insurance. Hey, flashback time. Everybody's favorite time, right? Because God knows this game needs more story. Ooh, he moved her from the left bed to the right. How mysterious! Aya! Aya! Answer me! Daddy! Ben! Weren't you going to the concert? I came here with Mom, but she... she was all weird. What do you mean, Ben? I came with Mom so the three of us could be together. So that's why you came to get me. Mom went to the stage, but she freaked out. What do you mean, Mom freaked out? I got near the stage and started to feel sick. I wanted to go home. Mom wasn't herself, Dad. 
She left and everyone else went too. Lorraine. He knows. Part of him just knows. Casualties were much worse this time. We cannot put the lives of citizens in jeopardy any longer. We have orders to evacuate all citizens out of Manhattan. Fortunately, most people are out of the city for Christmas. What do we do, sir? We will stay and assist in neutralizing Eve. Shouldn't we at least leave it to the army? We're the ones that are supposed to be protecting this city. Any word from Aya? Damn it! Where could she be? Daniel, I need you to help evacuate the citizens. She's our only hope against this thing now. I'm gonna go look for her. Shouldn't we stop him, sir? He's lost to rain. He'll find Aya. You two help with the evacuation. Daddy! Ben, I'm sorry. I have to go find Aya. Where'd she go? I don't know, but she's the only one that can fight the thing that hurt your mommy. Kath, look after the kid, will ya? I will. Don't you worry. Daddy! Come on, sport. You like dogs? I'll introduce you to the best police dog in town. Tonight on Animal Planet. Can I show this boy the dog? Sure. Let me open the fence. Hey. Hey, you got a visitor. This is Shiva. Oh. Hey, I think she likes you. <laughs> hey, that tickles. I love this scene right here. This just really drives it home. Everything just escalates. You know what I mean? Everybody's leaving the city. And look at this. Dead silence all across New York. The streets are abandoned. People have all left. It really drives the point home that this is where things start getting serious. You know, not that they weren't serious before, but... Now you understand that this is a threat to all of humanity. Just how big a threat it is. How many times do I gotta tell you? We've blocked this off! You won't even find a cat on this street! Okay, guys, I'm... I'm really sorry about how I'm going to do this guy's voice, but understand, the game itself said he has a horribly thick accent. So I don't mean to pull a Lukic in here, but... Uh, uh, I'm not getting anywhere with my English. Hey, you Chinese? N no, I am Japanese. Nanda, Nihojin Deska. Oh, yes! Can you speak Japanese? Shoto dake ne. Dare desu ka? I am Kunihiko Maeda. Uh, Japanese. Hey, if you can't speak the language, go back to your country. Calm down. Take it easy, man. It's bad for your heart. I'm getting hot! Help! I guess it's now or never. Let's just keep dancing in place. That'll put the fire out. Spontaneous human combustion. I believe it, that's correct.
Once again, I apologize to all Japanese fans out there. Uh. Where? Hospital? Ooh, foreboding. Especially considering it's not like any of the other flashbacks we've seen so far. I just like this whole scene in general. It feels like we're going places. It's really the turning point in the game for me. This is where things start getting interesting. Oh, you're finally awake! Uh, who are you? I'm Kunehiko Maeda. I'm a scientist from Japan. He found you. He found you. He found you. Daniel! There's no one out there but cops. It's a ghost town. Never seen anything like it. Pretty creepy if you ask me. Where's Eve? What happened to the people in Central Park? Ben was okay, but... The rest of the audience, they just disappeared. Uh, disappeared? You mean they weren't ignited? They all melted into slime and became one big mass. Uh, that's something new. Nothing like that happened to Japan. Japan. A similar incident occurred several years ago in Japan. Although it wasn't as grandiose in scare as this one. What? Hey, give us the details. It all started when a scientist's wife was involved in a car accident. Oh, by the way, spoiler alert for everyone who hasn't read the book yet. I'll provide a little annotation right here if you want absolutely no spoilers for what happens in the Parasite Eve book. Just take this to skip all of this, okay? Uh, this is your only warning, and this is your last chance. I'm pressing the X button now. The scientist tried to culture her liver cells in order to keep her alive. The scientist named those cells Eve. Eve? The river cells multiplied, and her mitochondria eventually took over her physical body. <gasps> After acquiring the scientist's sperm, Eve tried to give birth to an ultimate being. Ultimate being? What kind of being? She, the being who mutated from the river cells, couldn't maintain her body for wrong. By the way, before the car accident occurred, the wife had registered to have her organs donated. So after the accident, her kidneys were transplanted into a young girl. And Eve implanted a fertilized egg in the young girl who gave birth to an ultimate being. I was extremely interested in this and went to his rab so I could continue research. After hearing about this incident, I had to fry over here. What the hell is going on here? I wish I could explain more. Ah. Uh. Aya, uh, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I thought that monster had gotten a hold of you. I thought it was too late. When I felt Eve, something inside of me felt like it was being... You felt you were about to be ignited, correct? No, she's... 
Well, she's the only one that isn't affected. What? I... I... I don't understand. I... I think I may be a monster. Like her! What? What are you saying, Aya? I don't know. What if... What if I end up killing you? Oh, shut up. You know that's not... Please, Daniel. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. Please go away. Just... Just stay away from me. I, uh... Please... I know you might think there are some... I know some of you might think she's being a little melodramatic here. But now that I'm older, I kind of understand why. People are naturally afraid of what they don't understand. I mean, if you were suddenly going through these kinds of changes, would this be the kind of thing going through your mind? Just think about that for a second. How would you handle this type of situation? Even if I am a monster... I don't ever want to kill you, Daniel. Please. I... I could never forgive myself if I killed... you. I... Uh, you're no monster. You're my best partner, Aya Bray. I'll be by your side. Always, I, uh... I kind of like that scene as well. You know, minor spoiler here, but there's no romantic relationship that develops between these two characters. It makes it more interesting that these two never hook up in the end. I don't know, it's just they're really good friends, and that's all there is to it. I kind of like that they took it in that direction. It's like Finding Nemo. It makes it more interesting that way. When I touched Eve, that feeling... Was it Maya? But Maya died in the car crash with Mom. No, it couldn't be. Couldn't be... what? Oh, you're not gonna tell us? Day three selection. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I think that's about it for this episode, everybody. We've gotten some bosses, gotten some good gameplay, gotten some story. I think that's a full ride. So, in the next episode, the scale has gone up. And the stakes are higher than ever. Will we finally be able to stop Eve over the next four days? Find out next time. You guys ready for your next letter? Well, I just so happened to... Hang on. I did have it here. Maybe... No, not that pocket. Um... Maybe it's... Ah! Here it is! <laughs> Jeez, I'm getting nervous, guys. I'm starting to think I won't be giving away this game and strategy guide to anybody. If you think you know what the answer to the phrase is, please leave a comment in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next episode for more letters and more Parasite Eve. Later, everybody.